Hello coders! So you spent some time creating and testing your app, and now it's time to package and install this app on a mobile device. All of your work up to this point has been saved in the cloud. We're now going to install your app on a device so that you can take it with you. This process will require two devices. It will require the mobile device, a phone or a tablet on which you want to install your app, as well as a separate device like a laptop or a Chromebook on which you can run your MIT App Inventor interface. One of the most important things to be sure of right from the outset is that both your mobile device and your laptop are connected to the same network. So that means they are connected to the same router or the same Wi-Fi. If you're at home or not in school, it's really important to make sure that your phone's mobile data is turned off. Again, your phone's mobile data has to be turned off so that it's not connecting to a cell phone tower during this process, but it's connecting to the local network. On my screen here, you can see some helpful tips from the MIT App Inventor website, including quite a few uh, pages on how to troubleshoot this process. Again, make sure your mobile device and your computer are attached and connected to the same network. On your laptop, you're going to have MIT App Inventor open, and you should see your app. You're going to be looking for a build menu at the top of the screen. And when you choose build, you'll have two options. You're going to want to choose the first option, which is provide a QR code for the APK file. That's the packaged file. When you select that option, a progress bar will pop up. And this progress bar can take some time, so please be patient. It might take several minutes. If it takes more than five minutes, that can indicate there's a problem with your code, or perhaps your app is too large and can't be packaged. You might have to double check. Once this progress bar completes, you should have a QR code on your laptop ready for you to connect your mobile device. On your mobile device, you can find the MIT Companion app. It looks like an orange bumblebee. On my screen here, you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, I have my MIT app companion. When I launch this, I have two options. I'm going to choose scan QR code, the second option. That's going to pull up my QR code scanner. I can now scan that QR code from my laptop or Chromebook and wait a few moments. I get a warning. It says, this type of file can harm your device. Do you want to keep this anyway? I know that I've developed this app, so I trust the source. I will choose OK. It now asks me whether I want to open this file. On the bottom of my screen, I will click Open. And it asks me if I want to install this file. I'm going to click Install in the bottom right-hand corner. It looks like this has been blocked, and so um, sometimes the Play Store or sometimes your device will not trust apps from unknown sources. But again, since we've created this app and I trust this source, I'm going to choose Install Anyway. At this point, you have the option of opening your app by clicking Open. But my preference is usually to open the app directly from my home screen. So I like to go find the app icon for the new app. Sometimes that requires a little bit of scrolling. And it looks like here I found it on my home screen. The last listed icon is for Civil Soundboard, which is the app that I just created, downloaded, and have now installed. This means that I no longer have to stay attached to the MIT App Inventor website and my app lives on my device, and I can take it with me and share it with friends and family. I hope you found this helpful.